proceed to the 360 gimbal. Main assembly in there. And the landing gear should be in the side pocket. Um, also included in the box, you're going to have um, the rest of the items that came with your order batteries, uh, the FPV receivers 1.3, 5.8. <clears throat> Some extra parts, uh, everything should be in here, all the wiring, um, extra wires, the charger adapters, transmitter chargers, etc. So anyways, uh, looking down at your main assembly, the front left boom. It's going to have the battery with the Dean's connector coming out of the, of the tube. Front right boom, solo there. And the rear boom has your GR12 and your Mondo transmitter. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that one on first. You have your power supply coming out of the rear boom here. Um, BEC plugs into the GR12, and that would be <clears throat> the red, orange, and black, or brown, excuse me, wire. After I get the landing gear snug on the booms, I like to just kind of give it a good eyeball down the main frame here, make sure everything is as level as you get it. If you are so inclined, you could actually put a level on and level it out that way. Okay. Now for wire connections, um, coming from your Mondo transmitter, there is a black and yellow and orange wire. That's your signal and power ground. That is going to connect to the camera extension cable um, that's in the down tube. Um, just kind of depending on your, on the system that you've ordered, um, things could be, wires could be routed a little differently. Uh, this one is connected to the HDMI, it's our most standard uh, way of setting them out the door. So you go ahead and connect the camera extension to the transmitter wire there. <coughs> and power from the transmitter should be the JST coming out of the rear boom. Go ahead and connect those. Send the extra wire back down the boom. And then, like I said before, the BEC power source is going to go into port one of your GR12. I can't see it there. And then, coming from your pan radian. Coming out of port one on the module, this is going to go into port six on the GR12. That is our radiant power supply. Okay, and that is the 360 reassembly. Um, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is connect the 360 to <clears throat> the Sinistar 8 and for that we're going to unscrew 
the eight screws that are on the vibration dampeners. And then we take our 360 gimbal and just match up the mount plate to the vibration dampeners. Now, next step here, you get the GR24, it's mounted to the receiver cabinet. That's going to go right in the side of the battery tray there. sure that everything is powering up correctly. So I'm going to start with the 360 gimbal. Transmitter on, switches in off position, which would be away from you. And power on for the gimbal. Now on the radio modules you should be getting a flashing green and then a steady bl green blink on each module. Um, if that is not the case, um, sometimes just a quick power cycle. Okay. So everything seems to be working with the Radian. Stabilize on, slew, gives you tilt control. 